I have come to the realization that I am not satisfied with any of the languages I currently know. They are either too difficult, too limiting, or generally just a pain to use. My most used language is currently TypeScript, as I am simply the most productive in this language. I have recently been looking into C Sharp, which is quite similar to TypeScript in a way. I spent a bit of time following BroCode C Sharp course on YouTube. I found that the language actually makes a lot of sense, and consequently I found it very easy to learn. There might just be BroCode's teaching though. I felt that I was ready to make my first program after a day. I wanted to make a program that I'd originally ditched the C version of a while ago because it was effort. A console interface for creating boilerplate code and setting up projects. I began by making a console utility class that would essentially get all the input from the user. Man, I probably should have spent longer than like two hours learning C Sharp. I would have been just need to make it public. I don't know how this works, man. <laughs> Using Vim in Visual Studio is a very weird thing to do, by the way. But I'm gonna do it anyway, because I like it. Hello. Check that works. When Visual Studio places time. There we go. Okay. So we want to start by... Hmm. Because how do we provide args in... I guess we don't really need args for this. A lot of this is just figuring out what different C sharp behaviors we have as well. And like how it handles different errors, I guess. So for example, like if someone entered a letter instead of a number, how C sharp would handle that. Okay. So what I'm thinking is we have like a console utility. Now I have forgotten how this works. For each. We also want to get the index. Was there no easy syntactical way to do that? That's a lot of work. Console.write choice and then console.readline. That was a lot of work, <laughs> to be honest, for such a little reward. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, wait. Why have I, why have I made this an interface? We want to name this. I started with C files, being able to make a C file with a complementary header file using the interface. C file? It's a write file, I guess. I don't really know how async works, to be honest. As we don't really need it to be async right now, if it will let us. Oh yeah, we also want to like capitalize the um, name as well. Name dot to alpha. It's pretty easy. Let's run it. Choose one. Test. It might help if I actually go into the directory and check that's worked. God knows where that's actually uh, executed. Oh no, it's, it's done it in here. Okay, let's see. The test.c, that's all good. And the test.h, that's also good. That was way easier than I thought it would be, to be honest. I found that everything I wanted to do was incredibly easy, and everything was very intuitive, and actually made sense. Next, I began to work on a command for initializing the structure of an express project. One thing that wasn't intuitive was running system commands. I had to copy, I mean borrow some code from Stack Overflow that did this weird thing with CMD. You need to figure out how to execute system commands, so. Uh, and automatically, this is only Windows supported now, so that's great. Which is Node.js project, Express.js, some proj. Uh, I don't know why a directory is there. And also, I, it doesn't look like a commands have executed. I'm not sure what the syntax means, but we're gonna roll with it. Okay, we're getting the output, that's good. That looks like it worked. Okay, it did it in the wrong directory. Uh, that's that bit done then. What we want to do now is essentially uh, create like a, a, a project structure for the express project. So usually when we have an express project, we'll have like the index.js and then like a routes directory middleware. And then in the index.js, usually we have a couple things. We also want to ask for the port actually, which is a good point. We just need to start scripts, but we're going to do that in a minute because that might cause some problems. So a middleware and then we'll see. Yeah, so we got our index.js. Yeah, that seems all good. And then we go here. We have our router. I did then try to modify the package JSON for the start script. However, the docs for the JSON.NET library were, to put it quite simply, trash. So I just left it. Quite typical of me. I have come to really like C Sharp, actually. I was kind of expecting there to be this big thing that I really disliked about the language that would discourage me from using it, but there wasn't. The design of the language is really nice, and it's very easy to use. Even the static typing doesn't get annoying, unlike TypeScript and JavaScript. Oh, right, of course. If you've enjoyed witnessing my newfound bond with C Sharp, it'd be greatly appreciated if you liked and subscribed.